I've got six players who are sort of with me this year, which I'm really enjoying. And of course, Mark was always going to be one of them. He said to me, is there any chance of you know, me joining up with you now? You're going to have it? I said, you're number one. He'll be the first one on the list. <laughs> and I meant it, really, because we, we have a good bond. We get on very well together. We've got a similar sense of humor. And we know when to be funny and when to be serious, you know. And it, work, it works. It's always worked very well. We did a bit over the summer because I hadn't seen him in a year. I'd sort of got a few bad habits uh, that I always seemed to fall back into, and I had to iron them out. But believe it or not, even though I've had a decent start to the season, I feel like my technique is probably as bad as it's been ever. It's good to be able to get time with him on the table. You can only do so much over the phone. It's not ideal to get on the table. It's going to be good, and hopefully, I can iron a few things out come Thursday. The two players left in and they're playing each other. I suppose the people who say the good thing is at least there's one going to be in the semi-final, but I, I hate when I, any of my players lose. I've been putting the work in the, the, last, the last week or so and um, trying to get a lot of hours in and trying to get the right attitude back again like I had a year ago or two years ago. It's going to be a really tough game, but um, if I can play, if I can play how I know I can play, then um, I've got a chance. I don't think it's difficult when they're playing. I just want them both to play well. But what I know all the way through is one of them is going to be hurting at the end. So it's not the same as when one of my players beat a player that's not in the stable. You know, I mean, I'm pleased for the one that wins, but I get the, you know, the devastation when one of them loses. I always get it.